Hola, ¿qué tal? Habla español. Hola, estoy muy bien, gracias. ¿Y tú? ¿En qué puedo ayudarte hoy? Sí, no lo sé. Sprechen Sie Deutsch. Ja, ich spreche Deutsch. Wie kann ich Ihnen helfen? Dobra, uh, powiedz coś po polsku. Cześć, jak mogę Ci pomóc? And can you also speak English? Yes, I can speak English. How can I assist you? So let's now go through the step-by-step -step process on how to set this up for a multilingual setup with LifeKit. Uh, so to get started, we are going to go to LifeKit. Down at, right at the bottom, we have Create New Project. And we can type in Gladia. Press Enter. Let that load up. The next step is for me just to show you what we're actually going to be using for our multilingual transcriber. Solaria by Gladia is pretty good at switching automatically between pretty much any language. So I've in, in the demo, you saw Spanish, English, uh, German, and, and Polish, and it did really well between those four. And I actually gave uh, my friend who was complaining a lot about Hebrew and about Dutch, and he said that it was working really well with it. So to get an API key for here, we need to jump to our Gladia sign up URL, and you'll see a screen like this. You can type in your name or just choose to sign up with Google. I've already done so, so I'm just going to choose to sign in with my Google account, create a new API key it's right here. Click on that. And it's just going to create a new one for us. I'm going to copy it and save it just on my other screen for later. Great. Now that we've got all this uh, out of the way, what we can do is jump to our terminal. And in our terminal, uh, we have to type in a few things. And just below this video, you'll find this SOP. The video is meant to be like a supplementary thing uh, to this document. So uh, the first steps, if you have a, haven't already got it on your Mac, is you'll need to install Brew. And then from there, install LifeKit CLI. Or if you're using Windows, uh, just punch this line in, and then we can continue from where I'm about to start. So LK cl uh, Cloud Auth is what we're going to top in. It's going to authenticate and open up a, a tab where we can then select the project that we want to choose. So we want to choose Cladia, and we allow access. Once it loads up, we can close this tab, go back to our terminal, click yes. We're going to type in Gladia Showcase. And firstly, I'm just going to jump to my, it's going to see what kind of folders. So I'm going to jump to my Cursor Projects uh, folder. I'm going to jump into here. And this is where I'm going to install this next part. So we, go to, we now type in LK App Create. And this gives us a bunch of options, just really quick. Um, pre-made things that we can just uh, use out of the box. So we're going to select the first Startup Python project and just call this uh, Gladia Showcase. And for now, just skip all the API Cartesia keys because we won't be using them. Uh, then let's just move to our Gladia Showcase folder. And in here, this is where I like to open up cursor. So I type in cursor, space, full stop. Uh, and then press enter, and it's going to open up cursor for me with all the files that we're going to need. Then I press command J, open up the terminal. And in here, uh, we need to change a few things. So we need to jump into the source uh, folder, go to agents, and in here, completely replace the file that's in my Notion. So I'm just going to bring that Notion up. This is what I'm, ta I'm talking about. So we want to grab for step five, uh, jump into here, copy all this code come back, delete all this, paste the new one in. And the reason we want to do that is because this one has the uh, Gladia and the uh, Level Lab setups, which is what the other one did. It. Uh, it's also got a prompt in here that you can change. So you can add in whatever languages you want to work with. And this is set up with Gladia and Level Labs and a voice that worked pretty nice. And Level Labs Multilingual V2. Honestly, it's not the fastest one. You can choose uh, Level Flash 2.5 and it actually does a lot better and, uh, as in, uh, in terms of speed. Um, so that's one file. Just press Command S to save that. And then we need to change one more file in here. It's the Pi Project Tomo file. So we go back to our Notion document and in here, go to step six and we want to copy this one, come back, delete everything that we have in here and just save that. Now that we've done this, we can type in this command, uv sync. 
And this is going to set up a virtual environment for us without having to do much. And then we type in this one here, UV run source agent download files. So it's going to download all those cool things for us. This one takes a little bit usually. And that's done for me. Now that we've done this, we can now punch in this command, uv run source agent .pile console, and this is going to start up our uh, environment on our computer. But before we do this, um, you guys noticed that at the start we didn't punch in any API keys. So we need to come in into our .env file and change all this completely. So uh, if you just come back to my Notion document, I think it was step three. We're going to have to add in OpenAI, Gladia, and 11 Labs API key. So I'm just going to delete these and just punch in the new ones. And now I've got to jump to OpenAI, Gladia, and my 11 Labs API, and I need to go grab those keys. Now, I grabbed my uh, Gladia key before, so I'm going to punch that in right now. Uh, and I'll show you guys how to get the 11 Labs one. It was uh, how to click on developers on the bottom left here, and then we have to create the key. Uh, for text to speech, allow access and just call this um, Gladia showcase so we know what project it was for. Copy the clipboard. Okay, so now that you've got all the keys in your uh, .env file, uh, just save that and now we can run this command and this will start it up on our machine. Hello, hello. Hi there, how's it going? Yeah, I'm doing good. Uh, hola, uh, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo estás? Hola, estoy bien, gracias. ¿Y tú? Okay, cool. Great. So now that's working on our computer, we uh, I showed you guys that really cool interface from before, so I want to show you how we do that. And what you'll have to do is um, jump just, I think, or step seven or eight yeah step eight we go to this url you'll click on this open that up and you'll be greeted with a choice up in like which project to hook up with so i'm going to choose gladia connect gladia and most likely you know i have to do some permissions that will come up uh, while this is connected we can now jump back to our cursor and in here, instead of typing in console, we just remove that and type in dev. And we run that, and it's going to automatically come up right here. Hello, how are you? Hello, I'm doing well, thanks. How about you? Yeah, I'm doing great. Um, can you speak some German, please? Uh, sprechen Sie Deutsch. Gern geschehen. Was möchtest du wissen? We got the transcriber does pretty much all the hard work for us. It can swap automatically between languages without like setting up squads, without setting up workflows, without setting up anything. It kind of just works right out of the box. And I think life gets great. And if you then want to learn on how to deploy all this uh, to Absolutely. life get cloud and then deploy it to later to Twilio so you can then maybe send it off to your clients, um, you can watch my videos. Uh, I'm going to pop them up right now, just so you can um, go on from this process and learn on how to deploy it later um, and have it working for your clients. And let's just see what she says when I, <laughs> right now. Sounds great. I'm curious to hear what she says. Yeah, now just press Control C to get out of this. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's the setup. Um, yeah, I'm pretty impressed with it. So um, easy multilingual agents and especially with languages that are like hard to deal with um like i know arabic hebrew and dutch and probably french aren't like the most they're probably not as popular so they haven't been worked on for as much so i think uh this solaria thing solves this issue and if you guys are interested in building out more voice AI agents and learning about this and join a, the biggest community in the world currently for voice, uh, you're welcome to join us by going to the description and then clicking on our school community link right there. You'll be accepted within five minutes, guaranteed. So thank you and see you guys in the next one.